Hey YouTube, welcome to a new video. I'm Philip Jacob. Today's review is on the BMW X3 20D luxury line variant. So let's check out the exterior characteristics of the car and the first thing are the headlights. You have adaptive LED headlamps coming in the X3 20D luxury line. They can do the high beam, low beam, they can do the cornering and also switch off LEDs individually so that the opposite traffic does not get glad. And you have the active airstream kidney grills. So as you all know, this helps in increasing the aerodynamic efficiency of the car. This is mostly closed. It also keeps the engine's optimum temperature. And this being the luxury line, you get a lot of chrome package on the bumpers. You also get the fog lamps, which are LEDs. You'll be able to notice the sensors. So this car comes with 360 degree sensors also. The car comes with 19 inch wheels and these are diamond cut designs which comes just for the luxury line variant and uh, the car is wrapped with run flat tire system also so as you all know you can drive up to 80 kilometers with zero pressure inside them and at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. This also has an air breather so if you notice in the front bumper you have a small vent wherein it passes through that and reduces the turbulence inside the wheel arches. The front windshield of the BMW X3 has acoustic glazing. So what that means is that it reduces the noise from traveling from outside to inside the cabin. So that means that you have lower NVH values inside the car. And you have electrical foldable mirrors which have anti-glare in them. So it is only the right hand side mirror which would do the anti-glare and the inside rear view mirror. So what happens is that let's say when there is a high beam being flashed at you from behind it would become a little tinge of green so that it doesn't glare you. Checking the side profile of the car you have chrome accents on the front fenders and again there is a strip which runs on the lower part of the doors and finally we come to the rear at the rear again you have 3d design on the tail lamps and they are completely led tail lamps you also get a reversing camera just below the bmw logo you have twin exhaust tailpipes and again you'll be able to notice the sensors on the bumpers and a skid plate just below the bumpers The X3 comes with standard with a electric tailgate and at the rear of the car you have ample amount of boot space and to increase the boot space you have a handle which you can pull it and fold down the seats and this is again 40, 20 and 40 split and just underneath this plank you have the spare wheel which is embedded inside and this is a donut wheel so until or unless there is an emergency or an accident where the alloy is damaged there is no need for you to use it because you anyways have the run flat tire system and at the back you also have a 9 volt charging point and some hooks so that you can have something hooked onto them for better practicality There is also a tray which can be pulled manually. So the plus points of this is that when the door is closed, your luggage is not shown to outsiders by the rear windshield. And at the same time, lightweight purses or bags can be kept on them for easier access. So the car also gives a very good ambience at night. For example, if you notice these handles, you have a small light which glows underneath them so they are more prominent at night and also at the same time you get a welcome carpet 
which has its projection from down below here which shows a light which guides you to the door and at night it gives a good presence to watch the engine is a 2 liter diesel which produces 190 bhp with four cylinders in them it is coupled to a 8 speed gearbox and produces 400 newton meters of torque it can do a 0 to 100 in just 8 seconds the fuel efficiency as per air ai is told to be 16.04 kilometers per liter so right now we are inside the bmw x320d luxury line and while checking the interior characteristics of the car the first thing you would notice is the steering wheel so left hand side you will be able to notice that this car comes with cruise control speed limiter and on the right hand side you have the controls for the media so there is a small change in this layout because the updated x3 2020 has id7 installed in them so previously it used to be id6 so that is why you also see the change in the instrument cluster you also get paddle shifters with this car the left hand side for downshift and the right hand side for upshift the instrument cluster is a 12.3 inch fully digital instrument cluster so as mentioned before you have the layout which is as per the id7 which is the idrive 7 system you have various displays mentioned so on the left hand side you get the information about the speed on the middle you get the information about your navigation and on the right hand side your driving dynamics and let's say media your phone everything as such the control display is a 10.25 inch touchscreen system you get inbuilt navigation with the car itself and along with that you also get a 20 gb internal hard disk so what happens is that you can save in songs into the car so that you can listen to them whenever you want you need not carry your usb or let's say your mobile phones anything as such going down you have the start button again with an aluminium finish and you have the trims with wood and aluminium finishing again on them also you have synthetic leather on the dashboard so very premium quality you have the ac system down again all the buttons are aluminium satinized buttons and this is a three zone ac going down you have wireless charging system and again an x3 badging so you can make that place shut down also so that you can keep other things over here you have two cup holders and one can be used as an ashtray if you want you have a usb port and a 9 volt charging point going down you have the idrive control system this is a touchpad so you can enter in data by alphabets which are in capitals or numbers you can input just by writing on them if you want to add a space you swipe right and if you want to delete something you swipe left and again you have the electric gear shifter you have the electric parking brake you have the auto hold feature hill descent control the parking system activation the driving modes and the traction control switch off button so over here when you notice this this car has the automatic parking also so it can do a bay parking and a parallel parking all by itself next underneath the hand rest you have a decent amount of space you have a c port charger point and a light lid for it the car comes in standard with wireless apple carplay and this luxury line variant gets harman kardon music system with 16 speakers and 600 watts on the whole you get ambient lightings with different color combinations the leather used in this is vernesca leather and you have wooden finishing on the door trims and also on the dashboard so right now we are sitting behind the bmw x3 20d luxury line so this being a three zone ac you have the ac controls at the back and also two usb i'm sorry c port charging points at the back and a small tray shelf to keep your mobile phones as such and again if you see the doors you have a manual sun blinder which you can open and close depending upon your privacy 
and you also get a panoramic sunroof. So apart from the features which I mentioned before, there is something called as dynamic damper control and performance control in this car, especially on the luxury line variant. So dynamic damper control is something that depending on your driving modes or on your driving style, the suspension becomes stiffer or softer. So let's say if you're in comfort mode, your suspension is very soft and gives you the best comfort. At the same time, if you post it to sport mode, then your suspension becomes stiffer so that you get better handling characteristics. So that is called as dynamic damper control. Apart from that, you have something called as performance control. So this car is equipped with automatic differential locks. So that is ADBX. So this helps you in giving you better off-roading characteristics also. And that is again only in the X3 luxury line variant 20D. So I think I've covered up most of the features. If you have any doubts, please do give a comment down below. I'll see you guys in another video with another car. Thank you.